It's a bright and sunny morning here in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. sunglasses. We're in Great Smoky Mountains National Park this morning and we are checking out the Charlie's Bunyan hike. So this is a portion of the Appalachian Trail. It's eight miles round trip, about 1,800 feet of elevation gain. It's rated as moderate, but 1,800 feet of elevation gain is uh, no joke. And it is brisk. Apparently portions of the trail have been icy the past couple days, so we'll see how that goes. We're starting right around 9.30. The parking lot is already very full. Um, we actually got here about 45 minutes ago and have just been getting ready since. So, especially if you're coming on a weekend, get here early in order to get parking. The trailhead is right there in the parking lot, easily marked, so it's pretty tough to miss. So the first push is definitely a gradual incline. It's sort of flattened out a little bit though. One thing that I read and that I was prepared for was people saying it's quite a rocky trail. Um, I don't know. Not really yet. It hasn't been super rocky. There are definitely sections where you're climbing up some rocks, but it's not like scrambling or anything like that, at least not at this point. Also, I should mention we're doing this the second to last weekend of October. So the leaves are gone, especially at these higher elevations. Down lower, there's still color, but up here, you can see it's pretty much all gone. And it's that funky time of year where in the morning it's, you know, 30 degrees, but it's supposed to get up to 65 today. So layers are key. This is nice. We actually have a little bit of a descent here. I think we're like, what, a mile and a half in? At least a mile. Totally flat right now. Yeah, so it splits again. You can do the jump off trail. That's that other lookout that you can do that way. But I believe we need to keep going this way. Charlie's Bunyan, 1.3 miles. Most of this trail is covered by trees with a few overlooks along the way. Now you can turn off to check out this Appalachian Trail shelter. It's also a good spot to take in the views. You see it? There she glows. Oh yeah. This rocky overlook is Charlie's Bunyan. It's an odd name, but there's a story behind it. Apparently a guy named Charles Connor was hiking here with Smokey's enthusiast Horace Kephart. Back then it was known as Fodder Stack. When they stopped, Charles took off his boot to reveal a Bunyan and the name stuck. Not a bad spot for some PB and J and some meat sticks. Really great views. Not a lot of space at the top though. So um, on a busy day especially, maybe not the kind of spot you would wanna just like hang out at for quite some time. It took us just about two hours to get there. Um, I'm guessing it'll probably be about the same to go back since it is pretty up and down the whole way. It's not like we're just going straight downhill now. But yeah, definitely worth it. It's nice to still see some of the fall colors down at the lower elevations and it's sunny out. So what more can you ask for up here? This is where he drops me off. My new home. This is actually pretty comfy. You could sleep in here. With a sleeping pack. Mm -hmm. 
we've been able to hear like street traffic for quite some time and it's one of those situations where I keep thinking we're gonna see the parking lot but then we turn a corner and it's just more trail and my phone died so I can't see like where we're at on the map but I think we're close there are way more people coming up now than this morning the trail has definitely gotten much busier starting around 9 9 30 was a good idea even earlier if you can probably wouldn't hurt it is jam-packed here now absolutely wild one of the best things about uh towing around your house with you is when you're done with a hike like this, sometimes you can just step right into your home and relax for a second. Hi! Oh! Doggies! You're good. I'm just gonna give you space. All right, we changed, we feel better. Um, quick PSA. If you are visiting a place, an attraction that's popular and busy and there are signs that say RV bus specific parking in certain areas or certain areas are reserved for oversized vehicles, please don't park there. All these people are parked in RV spots. We were the only RV that got an RV spot. And there's RVs circling the And there are lot. RVs here looking for parking. Because you have to remember, if you're in a car, you can circle and take any of the hundreds of spots that might open up. There are like 10 that an RV can take. So please don't take them. We've been in situations where we have nowhere to park. Many times. <laughs> because we have a trailer. So don't be that person. It's not nice. Anyway gonna close out this video as we head out of the parking lot here um, I cannot believe how busy it's gotten hike I'll give it a 7 out of 10 would you agree yep 7 out of 10 definitely recommend it um, not super challenging but challenging enough that it'll get your heart rate up so good for people who enjoy a true moderate hike not a difficult hike if that makes any sense. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please remember to drop a comment down below, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Let us know what you thought of this video and we will see you in the next one.